Yo, what is up, YouTube? So it's now the new year. 2021 is behind us, and it's now officially the year of the tiger. And what I wanted to do in this video is talk about some of the lessons that I've learned in 21 that hopefully can be of value for you guys. Now, none of these lessons are going to be life changing or anything like that. You know, they're simply reminders for me personally that have meant a lot, and hopefully they'll be of some value. So the first one is I've realized that my mental health is just as important as my physical health. Um, for me personally, I've never really looked at mental health as something that I need to really prioritize until a couple years ago when I experienced a pretty tough situation at work. And since then, I think it's been sort of exacerbated by the pandemic and all the things that we've had to deal with, whether it's all this negative news about you know the pandemic and the vaccines and all these other things that are happening, um, all that stuff kind of piling on. And then also this, you know, this new world where we're constantly, you know, working remotely. I know not everyone is working remotely, but for a lot of us, um, who especially who work in tech, remote work is sort of the norm now, and will probably continue to stay this way. And so, you know, there's obviously benefits and, and pros and cons with that model. But for me, as someone who enjoys being around people, you know, most of the time, and getting that energy off of my colleagues, you know, being away from that has been tough. And mentally, it's also kind of impacted the way that I engage with my my colleagues on a work on a work level and then also from a personal standpoint not being able to, not being able to see people not being able to meet my friends at the times that i that i want to or need to has also been somewhat of a challenge and so i think for me you know just taking time for myself uh going to the gym riding the bike doing things that i enjoy doing has been uh, a major benefit for me and also just acknowledging and being self-aware of the fact that hey you know, your mental health is just as important as your physical health, and you need to invest the time and care into that is something that we all need to be aware of and take more seriously. And so for me, that's been one of the things that um, I've just been a lot more aware of is just taking that time for myself and being intentional about it. And so far, it's been working out a lot better. Now, the second lesson that I learned is that, you know, work is really being redefined. The, you know, the pandemic, for better or worse, has really kind of changed the way we work, not just how we work, but whether we decide to work a traditional nine to five job at all, you know, the pandemic has really kind of opened the doors for a lot of people who are at home, who are stuck with their computers and their devices to, to create new products and new services. And I think this is great. I think it's ushered in this new digital economy and a uh, way for people to, to make a living. And I'm all actually for that. You know, digital freelancing is now a more viable career choice for, for a lot of people than it ever was before. You know, the traditional, uh, you know, go to college, go to a trade school, learn a vocation, you know, that's still valuable, but now people are putting their digital skill, skills to work and they're in a lot more demand than they used to be. And I think the pandemic has just fast-tracked that and it's something that for me personally, I've been a lot more aware of. And so for me also, what that means is my expectations around my own work hours you know, how long I work, when I work, um, how I work. These are all questions that I've sort of had to redefine for myself and ask myself, okay, well, how do I create the best optimal life for myself where I can not only get my stuff done, but also use my time in a way that's valuable for me, where I can constantly grow and learn new skills for myself. And, you know, to be honest for me, you know, the pandemic has op opened a lot of doors for me where I can work remotely wherever it is, wherever it is that I am, as long as I'm sort of within the right time zone. Um, being able to go see my parents up in Oregon or being able to travel to Hawaii and be able to work local hours and then take the rest of the afternoon off. You know, these are all kind of opportunities that, you know, for me, I really didn't have before the pandemic. Last year, I've been able to take advantage of that a lot more. So, um, you know, redefining work and re resetting what those parameters are for me has also been another lesson that I've learned in 21. The third lesson that I want to talk about is, you know, there's just so much information out there. The lesson that I've kind of taken away at learning how to consume information and make my own decisions is to do my own research. Part of that also means trying to spend as little time on mainstream media as possible. Mainstream media, which is you know inherently biased, it has a certain um, motive or or objective that they want to um, impart on its viewers or readers. And so for me, I try to get my information from as wide as independent sources as possible, and use my own reason and logic to make my own decisions. Now, this might be difficult for a lot of people, but you know, the internet has really allowed everyone to be able to, to access information from different sources. And for me personally, it's been great at uh, giving me 
a lot of different perspectives and a lot of different opinions and really allowing myself to make my own decisions when it comes to, you know, you know, where I invest or, you know, whether I decide to get a vaccine or where to travel or whatever. Um, you know, the fact is we just can't rely on a single source of truth anymore. You know, there's just no more, there's no single reliable source that we can all sort of depend on, which used to be the case uh, when news was sort of impartial and unbiased. Unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. And, you know, for me, being able to kind of do my own research and uh, relying on multiple different sources has been also a lesson that I wanted to share with you guys. The next lesson that I want to share is if you've ever wanted to learn a new skill, you know, whether it's writing a book or writing a blog or creating a YouTube channel, for example, you just got to get started. Uh, for me, last year in 21, I had this grand idea of a channel that I wanted to put together. And I had all these topics and themes that I wanted to talk about. And it took me forever to even get the courage uh, to, to put, this, put, put this video out. Um, to be honest with you, there's just been a lot of things in my mind, a lot of reasons and excuses that, hey, I'm not ready yet, or you're not, you're not polished enough, or you haven't done enough research, or you don't have the right equipment. And to be honest, a lot of these are just kind of excuses. And what I've realized is that through this journey of even just starting this channel, I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about uh, what it takes to learn a new skill. And the lesson there is to just go out there and do it. You know, you learn by doing things, or at least most people do. And for me personally, I'm someone who learns by physically doing something, not just reading it from a book and not worry about the details and just keep moving forward has been one super valuable lesson that I, that I applied to not just for this channel, but for any new, you know, soft or hard skill that I learn in my personal and professional life. Now, the last lesson that I want to share with you guys that I learned in 21 is to simply appreciate the moment. You know, there's just so many times when good things happen or bad things happen and in between all those things, time continues to go on, you know, time flies by. And the thing that I've learned to, to take into consideration for myself is to learn to, you know, first of all, learn from your mistakes, uh, but also just appreciate the journey, appreciate the experiences you've had, you know, find the silver lining, learn from them and apply it to the future. You know, for me, you know, learning to stop and smell the flowers and to reflect more often hasn't always been easy. You know, I've always been someone who's always strive for the next big thing and always thinking about what's ne next ahead, but sometimes just slowing down a little bit and appreciating the journey, you know, appreciating the, the things that you've accomplished and, uh, you know, stopping to smell the flowers has been a really valuable lesson that I think a lot of us can learn from. Uh, you know, it's sometimes easy just, just to ignore it and just to constantly move forward and be in go, go, go mode. Um, but that often leads to burnout and you can also lose your identity and also the why of why you're doing certain things. And so for me, you know, learning to s slow down a little bit and to appreciate things and to, you know, appreciate the, the journey itself has been a super valuable lesson. So there you have it. Five things that I've reflected on in 21 that I want to continue to build on in 22. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. I'd love to learn what you guys learned in 21 that you want to share with the community. Uh, drop it in the comments down below. Like this video if you found it helpful and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.